Uh, so 350,000 unaccompanied children in the last two years have come into our country, and Joe Biden's administration doesn't know where 85,000 of those kids are. Hey, what company are you guys with? Where are you guys taking this kid? Where's this kid? Is this your kid here? Sir, is this your kid? You know these kids are kind of going places they never heard from again, right? No. Are no you with me, sir? Can, can I ask what company you're with? No. No? You, you, you won't tell me? No. Okay. Why are you being so secretive? Don't worry about it, sir. Can you stop bothering me? Why are you hiding your name badge? Why are you so ashamed of what you're doing with these kids? You don't have my permission to be taking any pictures. Uh, this is a public facing place. I've already talked to the police. Hey, where are you guys flying to today? And don't, hey, don't get in my no, face, sir. No, you're getting in my space, sir. You're getting in my space? You're getting in my space. I need you to back down. Okay, I'm right here. All right, can you back down over there? You're stepping towards me, sir. How are you guys doing? No, you can't take off yourself. Yes, I can. No, you can't. This is a public place. Why are you guys being so secretive? Who are the kids in the car? Every month, thousands of foreign children are trafficked into the United States via the US-Mexico border. They are detained by border patrol, held in top secret compounds, and delivered into the hands of human traffickers by government contractors, some of whom are CIA affiliated. A sophisticated network of traffickers and smugglers are using the United States federal government as part of the logistical chain of their child trafficking operation. All of this is openly acknowledged by the Department of Homeland Security and Congress. Since 2021, 85,000 migrant children have gone missing, never to be heard from again. Others have been subjected to involuntary servitude, debt bondage, commercial sex trafficking, and possibly forced organ harvesting. This video will show how the United States federal government is facilitating the largest child trafficking ring in the world. The trafficking operation starts thousands of miles away, in the remote regions of Central and South America. Some children are lured to the United States by digital and radio advertisements, promising a better life in America. Other children are sold to human traffickers by their own parents, and some are kidnapped off the streets in their home country. Before entering the United States, human traffickers mark children like cattle. Children are tagged with wristbands like these to indicate that they are clear to enter the United States. Often. Adults can be seen carrying children across the border who are incapacitated. This is an indicator that the child has no relation to the adult carrying them, and could mean that the child has been kidnapped. Border Patrol does nothing when they see this. They simply book the adult and the child in as if all is normal. Some of these children are part of recycling rings. They are used as pawns in order to get single adults into the United States under the disguise of a family unit. According to a Florida grand jury report, in February 2019, Belkin Idenia Martinez Parada, a Honduran mother of four, agreed to a scheme to rent three of her four children, ages six months to 12 years, to three different Honduran men so they could pass through the Texas border as families. After apprehension, children are held in top secret compounds run by private government contractors in conjunction with the Department of Homeland Security. A few compound locations across the state of Texas include El Paso, Pecos, Eagle Pass, Carrizo Springs, and many more across the Rio Grande Valley. These compounds are highly secure and resemble concentration camps. This compound in Pecos, Texas is double fenced with guard towers and floodlights. Why is this level of security needed for a compound that only holds children? Other compounds have been established in former shopping centers. Southwest Key Programs, an NGO that shelters illegal alien children and escorts them to their sponsors, holds children in repurposed Walmart centers. Southwest Key Programs, commonly referred to simply as Southwest Key, is an NGO with a checkered past. In 2018, Southwest Key employee Fernando Magaz Negrete was charged with child molestation after sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl at a Southwest Key facility. 
in 2019, a Southwest Key employee was sentenced to 19 years in prison for sexually abusing children and exposing them to HIV. While children are held in these compounds, the Office of Refugee Resettlement, also known as ORR, works to establish contact with the sponsor of each child. Under the Biden administration, ORR has eased sponsor vetting procedures in order to expedite the child processing pipeline. On March 31, 2021, ORR issued Field Guidance Number 11, ending the background check requirement for Category 2 sponsors, the type of sponsor for almost 50% of children. It is known to federal and state governments, as well as ORR case managers, that many of the so-called sponsors are in fact human traffickers. In a 2016 congressional report, it was admitted that children are brought into the United States by human trafficking rings, and that the United States is a source, transit, and destination country for men, women, transgender individuals, and children, both U.S. citizens and foreign nationals, subjected to sex trafficking and forced labor. In a report published on September 6, 2023, by the Department of Homeland Security Office of Inspector General, it was admitted that DHS may unknowingly release migrants, including children, to potentially unsafe conditions or smuggling operations. Finally, in a report filed by a Florida grand jury in March 2023, it was found that an employee of ORR was fired for reporting a case of suspected human trafficking of over 100 unaccompanied alien children shipped off to a single house in Texas to a government hotline because her ORR superiors refused to investigate the matter. Once ORR has vetted a sponsor, children are escorted by government contractors from holding facilities into the hands of their sponsor somewhere in the United States. A couple of the contractors involved in this step include Southwest Key and MVM. MVM is a private security contractor founded by three former Secret Service agents. The company has been granted $369.5 million in order to provide staffing and resources necessary to arrange travel and escort for unaccompanied children in ORR custody. After 9-11, MVM was contracted by the NSA and CIA to provide armed security in Iraq. More recently, in 2018, MVM won a contract to conduct research for the FBI's High Value Detainee Interrogation Group, a program implemented to conduct overseas interrogations of terrorists. This same company is now conducting a domestic child escorting operation. Every morning at McAllen International Airport, white vans drop off masked children with masked agents who escort them through the airport onto an airplane and into the hands of their sponsor. As you watch the following footage, ask yourself these questions. Why are the children and escorting agents wearing masks? Why do the escorts hide their name badges when they realize they are being filmed? And why do some of the children seem terrified to speak? Also keep in mind that in April of 2023, a former Southwest Key employee was arrested for sexual contact with unaccompanied minors aboard an airplane. This is what the escorting process looks like. Hey, is this Southwest Key? No, no. Who are you guys with? MVM? Nope. No? Who are you guys with? Hey, ¿cuántos años? Oh, why are you guys being so secretive? You know these kids are kind of going places they never heard from again, right? No. Are you with me, sir? Can, can I ask what company you're with? No. No? You, you, you won't tell me? No. Okay. Why are you being so secretive? Don't worry about it, sir. Can you stop bothering me? Don't take a picture of me. You're not authorized to vote. I just take pictures of me. This is a public place. Hey, what company are you guys with? Where are you guys taking this kid? Where's this kid? Is this your kid here? Sir, is this your kid? Hey, ¿cuántos años? It's okay. It's okay. Amigo, amigo. Amigo, ¿cuántos años? 
que, que país? Hey, are these your kids? No? Hey, are these your kids, sir? Everything okay, sir? Oh, yes, I can. I talked to the police. This is a public place, and Texas is a one-party consent state. I've already talked to the police here. At length. Thank you very much. Just so you're aware. I'm, not con I'm, not, I'm, I'm more concerned with you. And why are you hiding your name badge? Why are you so ashamed of what you're doing with these kids? You don't have my permission to be taking any pictures. Uh, this is a public-facing place. I've already talked to the police. These are little kids. How old are they? Sorry, sir. Hey, are you going to check up on these kids after you drop them off with their sponsor and make sure that they are actually safe? Are you, are you care that much about them? Are you going to make sure that they're not being trafficked across the country? No, you're not going to do that, are you? You could tell us their names, so this way maybe we could check up on them. Would you do that much? No, you don't want to do that. Could you tell us what company you're with? Maybe we could take it up with your supervisor. No, you don't want to do that either. Could you look me in the eyes at least? No, you can't do that either. Okay. What about you? Sir, all I can say is there's no comment. I, I listen. I'm not trying to harass you. I'm just saying a lot of these, these no kids, are, these kids could very well get trafficked across the country, and you know that. You know no that. So comment. I'm asking, could I well, know? Could I know where no they're going? No. Could I know where they're going? No. Is this your kid here? Is this your kid? Amigo, amigo, hola. Where are you taking this kid to? Ma'am, is this your child? Why won't you talk to me? Sir, can I ask who you work with? Sir, if I'm going to be reporting on this, you might as well just be transparent. This doesn't look good. How are you guys doing? Yes, I can. This is a public place. This is a Texas is a one-party consent state. No, I'm asking who are you? Who am I? Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? Like you're recording us. Who yes, sir. Are you? Yes, sir. Well, these children don't belong to you, do they? Why are you guys being so secretive? Who are the kids in the car? Hey, where are you guys flying to today? Hey, where are you guys flying to? Hi, uh, Hi. what's your name? Don't, hey, don't get in my no, face, sir. No, you're getting in my space, sir. You're getting in my space? You're getting in my space. I need you to back down. Okay, I'm right here. All right, can you back down over there? You're stepping towards me, sir. I need you to have some space, okay? Which company do you work for, sir? My name's Carlos, last name Mariano. I used to work for MBM Inc. My job was to take kids from point A, basically take kids from point A to point B. And the job of, a, of an MBM employee is to come and grab these kids, take them on an airplane, and take them to a sponsor who is supposed to be a family member. But most of the time, it's not. Did you ever drop a kid off of a sponsor and you could tell that there was something not right with the sponsor, like maybe he was on drugs or he just uh, something just seemed off? All the time, all the time, all the time. We would get people who were drunk, people who were high on weed, people who were high on, on other things. The sponsors themselves would tell you shit like, yeah man, I did a line before coming here. And I gotta go out and party again, but you guys got me here picking up this damn kid, shit like that. You heard that first time? Yeah, 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 you hear that all the time. After delivery to a sponsor, ORR conducts a 30-day wellness check. This consists of placing a phone call to the sponsor 30 days after the initial handoff to verbally confirm the state of the child. Since 2021, 85,000, or about one-third, of these phone calls have gone unanswered. There is no police report filed, no new cases opened with Child Protective Services, and the address of the sponsor is not flagged as suspicious. The child simply becomes another statistic.
The open border policies of the Biden administration continue to provide an endless stream of children for human traffickers to exploit. Until the U.S.-Mexico border is secure, many more thousands of children will fall victim to the federal child trafficking pipeline. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support our operation, you can make a one-time contribution at muckraker.com slash donate. If you're unable to do that, you can support our operation by sharing the information that we publish. And if you don't want to do that, maybe you don't like me or maybe you don't like the name Muckraker. You think it sounds fishy. I don't like it. No problem. All I ask is that you have the courage to stand up and speak the truth. I quote the great American Samuel Adams when I say, it does not take the majority to prevail, but rather a tireless and irate minority keen on setting brush fires of freedom in the minds of men. Thank you very much.